We have off the wall funny man Orlando Jones is here. Yeah. And we've got the no nonsense, unpredictable star of Dance Moms, Abby Lee Miller. Yeah. Plus, we're gonna show you how to break one of fashion's biggest myths. So, what do you say we get things going? Let's do this. Yeah. Come on. All right, ladies. I have something that I want to get off my chest. Uh-oh. What's okay. the end of the week? Set it free, girl. I know. <laughs> there are people, complete strangers, who think it's okay to chime in on my parenting. What? what yes, you about? yes. Y'all know I'm starting to use Instagram a lot more, uh -huh. thanks to Jeannie and Adrian. <laughs> mm -hmm. And I like to post things about my son and about, about my family. I right. love that. But there are these monsters, as I like to call them. No, girl, they're Instagram thugs. They chime in on, on what I'm doing wrong as a parent. What they think you're doing wrong as a parent. Well, I got so much backlash. Why, how? Because Adam is wearing him from behind. What? They are so silly, because I'm the one that was taking the picture. They <laughs> did. From behind. Right. I'm not gonna put my child in any harm or danger. Let me be the mother That's of right. my own child. That's right. right. That's right. right. That's right. You're a mom. You always get judged on your parenting style. Well, you know, I really don't give a damn. Thank you. <laughs> At all. That's it. That's it. I mean, people think this is a forum for them to say whatever they want to say about yeah, right. you, your family, your husband, mm -hmm. your child, and that's just not cool or acceptable because really, when I meet you, you don't say none of that. Exactly. exactly. You mean? I just feel like that's what the delete button is for. When I post on Instagram, I will stay on it and to see I, what people say? For a, thir a good 30 minutes after I press send, I'm looking and I'm like, I'm gonna watch, I'm watching you, I'm watching you come for me, I dare you. Delete, block, block, delete, 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 block. Yeah, but I, you know I don't what? Care. Yeah, I usually catch yours after two hours and they yeah. be going in on you, man. I be getting mad. I'm like, don't you talk about my baby like Thank that. Thank you. Okay, yeah, yeah, I do, I take up for you because you know what? I think that's what helps it. It's like, if you see somebody attacking somebody and if you guys out there are a fan, y'all need to get back mm -hmm. on there and say, nah, leave her alone. Like that's that. what yeah. you do. I know it's a mom. For some reason, once you become a mother, you start having a really strong opinion about other people and possibly their kids. Mm -hmm. I don't have children. I've started to put it out there that I don't think I want to have children. Uh -oh. mm -hmm. Moms are the meanest they bullies are. to me. What like, you mean? Why, they straight up, when I say that I don't want to have a child, immediately moms are like, oh. Like, what's wrong with I understand what you're saying. You know, I've had churches bring me to the front and pray for my belly because they think something's wrong with me, that Where I'm a woman going? not wanting to have kids. They put me in the Don't go circle. to that church anymore. I, right? I mean, what's seriously. Wrong? You need to pray for I've them. I've had moms literally take their kids and hide them from me because they're like, oh, I'm sorry, you don't like kids. And I'm like, I don't not like kids. I, I just think kids have. deserve ultimate attention mm -hmm. and love. I deserve to sleep in and I want a glass of wine at 3 p.m. Wait, at, wait, wait, wait do people okay with that? that? You can't do that okay. at the other. I don't know if, if y'all know, but at first, me and my Teddy Ruxpin did not want to have kids. We just got caught out there. Oh, really? Yes, child. Oh, it was a little, little, mm. A nice date night. People were like, oh, you're so selfish. Give that man a child. Moms, you gotta check yourself, man. Like. Be careful what you say, because it hurts other people's feelings. Well, everybody like can't be a mama. mama. That's yeah, the thing. Y'all don't real. want me to be a mama, OK? Yeah, I would be exactly. the worst mama in the United States of America. That's why I'm an auntie. I'm a I great auntie, you. OK? But a mama, no, every day you got to watch those yeah. kids. Every day, girl. Every day. Every day. Every day. And I used to every feel, day. I used to feel exactly how you feel yeah. right mm -hmm. now. On one end, it's like, you need to have a kid. And on the other end, People be on my page because I'm hanging out with my girls. Like that one night we all went out. Mm -hmm. Don't you need to be home with your child? Ooh, Where's ah. your baby? Like, you better Ooh. get your life. I still got a life. Yeah. Because, I mean, ultimately, if you're not happy, you're not going to be able to be happy for your baby. And them That's babies right. can pick that up. They That's sense right. that, absolutely. That's and them right. babies need to eat, so she got to get out here and work for her coins, honey, Stop okay? It. You got to watch babies 24 yes, hours you do. a day. Yes. So I give it up to every mother in yes. America yes. that you do a good job. You a mother. And every working mother, too. Being a working mom. But I don't mom, want your job. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> I can't do it. Being a working mom, oh my gosh. You have to work and then you have to go home and you have to still work. It's a 24 period hour job. Yeah. Period. Yes. No, a lot of the times I'm I'm happy, I'm just exhausted. Yes, exactly. Child. And then when she's just falling asleep, the come in her wifely duties. You know what I'm saying? I'm telling you, I'm telling you, this is so important okay. to know, okay? You gotta be the mama to the baby. Uh -huh. Right? Yeah. You gotta go to work. Uh -huh. Put your head down. Uh -huh. Put your head down. Uh -huh. Put your head down. 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 Put
put it on, make sure you get your coin, and then come on and get your back crack and make sure <laughs> he is completely satisfied. You got to make sure that you know how to juggle, honey. Sometimes, Lonnie, my single girlfriends don't want to hang out with me because they that think I'm true. a mom and I'm boring. Yeah. Lies, I'm turned up Go. to the max, honey, okay? You're a different, no, but the wait, wait a minute. Yeah. Wait, all all right. Right. you party, you, you, okay. go, you, go, you turned You're up cool. a lot. Though. But I have a question to ask you, you guys. You scare me sometimes. <laughs> you try to. Speaking, speaking of going out, mm -hmm. y'all all went out, yes. and you didn't invite, you know, me. You know, we want to take shots. You want to drink wine. Oh. And, it's a different effect when you want to have a glass of red wine and you turned up, you want to take shots from Trump. You know? I, 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 no, no, I, wait. Can I say something, though, yes, Tamara? I'm going to say something, because I've gone out with you many times. I will say that if I want to turn up in a more wild out way, like I get a little, there's a dirty side of me that kind of wants a little, just gets a little tainted, like I want to come home a little bit muddy, I will not call muddy. you. Muddy? However, <laughs> however, when I go out with Tamara, when she has maybe, when that wine dips down about half glass full, she gets a little giddy and she gets fun. She, she is really fun. is. And Listen, she will go I'm to a strip club. I'm not saying I don't have a good time with Tam Tam. Tam cracks I'm, me up. I'm fun. She's a good time, but she's not the turn up queen, okay? But you know Wait, what? We were stranded okay, in I'm Vegas together at the airport. We had mad fun. I had wine, though. Yeah, let me apologize to you because I, I don't want you to feel that we are leaving you out. And next time we go out, no matter what we do, we're calling you and you could be our sober driver. Because I can turn driver. up. You could be the sober up. person. Oh You'll be responsible. Designated driver. Okay, no, but I can turn up. That's yeah, what I want to know. Out. I want you to always be you. What you mean Listen by turn me. up? I mean, like, lose myself, let my hair down, and have fun. What you don't know is before, before I got married, I was, you can ask Tia, I was the one dancing on the table. Okay, like, we do that, twerking? we bring in the camera. You were okay. twerking? I wasn't twerking, but oh. I was dancing. We Wait. gonna bring the cameras. Next time we do a girl's night out, we yes. gonna bring you, you gonna get turned up, we take us some cameras. All right, that's what we gotta do. Yeah, but right. doing the split is not dancing. So, you know what? We're going to let her be herself. And you know what? I don't want you to think that we think that you are lame because you're not No, lame. not at all. We I didn't feel that. You, I don't okay? get, I didn't but get that. But there are some people that are your friends, mm -hmm. and they get a little clingy or they get a little <laughs> lamey. They get, they just start cause problems in your life. Mm -hmm. And sometimes you got to let them go. Yes, go. When do you let those toxic friends go? Let when me tell you that. when. When they start trying to make you feel bad for being you. Ooh. Yes. Yes, and changing and growing up. Like, I don't want to be the same Tamar I was 10 years ago. You mm -hmm. know, I want to evolve. Mm -hmm. I want to know myself. You know what I mean? I want to be confident. I want to have fun. You know, I, I want to be successful in my career. You're supposed to encourage each other and be there for well, each other and exactly. uplift each other. You ain't supposed to be like, ooh, girl, you changed. You damn right I changed. I don't wear box braids no more, I get me a good lace front wig, girl. <laughs> Yo, sure I'm have. Just crazy, you know, I'm in that weird transition where like half of my friends are like having babies and the other half are still drunk losing their cell phones. And I just feel like when I was younger, I wanted a lot of friends and now mm -hmm. that I'm, I'm fine with like a good five girlfriends. I don't need a bunch of friends. Five but when do lot. you let them go? I mean, you know, we all five have that friend that, you know, she's our friend and we need her, but then you like, something just ain't right. And so, do you set a timetable? Do you do you give them a number of chances? No. When do you just you know? And how do you do it? Do you I got a friend. Let me tell you okay. about the story. Okay. This, this actually made me sad. So I grew up with this friend from the Bay Area. We were ride or die. Like we grew up as girlfriends. I mean, I got into trouble. Like good rat right. girlfriend. I, I, yeah, oh. she was definitely there. On my wedding day, I made her my maid of honor. Mm -hmm. Now, at that time, I was getting married, moving on. She wasn't, and she had a little bit of a drinking problem. And I talked to her about it, because at the wedding, I wanted to have fun. She shut it down. She was like, don't ever talk to me like that again. I do not have a drinking problem. And I was like, wow. OK, calm down. Wedding reception night. We announced the wedding party. Where is she? I'm the host is calling her name. We're looking around. I'm a little nervous. Out of the public restroom, my man's best man carries her across the dancing room floor, passed out, her backside showing the entire time on the wedding video. What? I'm dying. She, she totally got so drunk by the wedding reception, she couldn't even lift her head. That day forward to this day now, yeah. she's never brought it up. And I even have said, do you remember my wedding night? Do you remember? Yeah. Yeah, I remember it. I just got really tired. Well, you're no, a better friend than me, honey, because God knows. Because at the end of the day, first of all, it's your fault. 
Okay. What? Cause let me, oh, I'm just gonna tell you about yourself. You're my homegirl. I got to tell you, I love you though. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you already knew she was team too much. Oh. And you put her in that position to be your maid of honor. You already knew she couldn't handle herself. You already knew she liked to drink. So therefore, <laughs> you have to suffer the consequences, pumpkin. Well, okay. she did. This the girl came out well, the bathroom I'm sorry. Well, that's true. That's true. You know, I love her. Enough. Sorry. I had to let her go because as a real friend, I wanted to confront her and I wanted to grow together. I wanted to bring up the fact that she had a problem and I would You wanted to give her. her a chance. Yes. But she cussed and you out when you, she when you told her that. You, you know, I know she was I a denying blame, drunk. I cannot blame her because if I was at your yes. wedding with an open bar, I probably would have did the same thing. <laughs> don't have an open bar. I mean, don't do that. I can only say that maybe there's a few things that are worse than like having to break up with one of your friends. Mm -hmm. Have you guys ever had to break up with like a hairstylist or a stylist or your manicurist? And you'd be like, uh, I think you're whack and I might have found someone better. <laughs> what do you do then? You know what? I had a hairstylist one time. This is the reason why I broke up with her. <laughs> Every time I ask her, you know, get my hair done, my weave, everything, you know, how much is it? Well, she got to look at her bills. My gas bill's $30. Girl, yes. My what? electric what? bill what? is, 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 is $263. Wait a minute. I got to let you go, okay? What? Give me one price. And I just let her go. That was it. So you and I love her. Right off of her bills? Yeah, she right? looking at her bills. I'm like, are you That's serious? So yeah. You just stopped yes. calling her? You just stopped calling her? I just her. stopped going. Yeah. You hey, know, wait, wait, I mean, wait, eventually, you, guys. you know, she started calling me back. And I was like, yeah. mm -mm, no. I used to think that it wasn't a big deal if you break up with your hair style. Yeah. Until... I broke up with my manicures at a Vietnamese nail salon. Really? Let me tell you, because I don't look Vietnamese. So when I walk you in, know? they don't. You no, sure? I don't, I don't look like my people. I don't. So here's what happened. It was one day that I decided to change from Jenny to Carrie. No big deal. I was like, oh, you want Jenny today? No, 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 actually, I want Carrie. So I sit down in front of Carrie. She's like, OK, you wanted a full nail set? OK. Mm -hmm. OK, no problem. They were talking mad-ish about me. Really? Called me a traitor, called me a fiatch, everything. And they and didn't know that you understood? No. They were basically singing Bitches Ain't Loyal in Vietnamese. Oh. No way. In front of me. It got so... These so girls now, ain't loyal. That now, is see, guys, I go right back to Jenny. I keep my crooked acrylics, three-hour-long Jenny, and I don't say a word. I just put my nails in and I just keep I it the just, way it is. Ugh. I think I'm a player when it comes to that. I just keep really uh, yes, no. yes. No. I keep them in rotation. I keep about three or four hairstylists uh -huh. in rotation, and sometimes I let them cancel themselves from me. Meaning really? they'll see me with another person, like. <gasps> You like for them to work for it, huh? That's what you say. Like. Well, I like for people when they're with me to want to be there. Yes, and I just think true. it's, you know, I think it's just it's just safer because you know, maybe someone will have to leave, you know, to go to New York or whatever. So I never like to feel like I'm in a bind. You I know tell what you I mean? who I want to break up with. I want to break up with my postman, okay? I'm tired of you, Mr. Green, delivering at 6 p.m. I'm calling the postmaster general on you, shot. okay? No, that's who, but I can't break up with him because I went to the post office. I said, Mr. Green, keep delivering the mail at 6 o'clock. You know the <laughs> bank's closed at 6. I can't. And then it was like, well, it's nothing we can do. I'm like, I see him eating peanut butter sandwiches in the mail cart <laughs> looking at my edition of Ebony. All no. right? you know, Yes. Unlike y'all two, I'm uber loyal, right? You are. Yeah. So I don't know if y'all yeah. know, but you know, my glam squad has been with me for a long time. Oh, about great. three and a half years. Wow. Until uh -oh. my, my recent love and war tour, he did not go. Oh, why? why? Yes, yes. He got a boyfriend, okay? And I said, now oh. see, I know you don't want to go on tour because you want to be here with your man. I get it. But then I started working with somebody else, right? T was a little salty. funny, like I'm cheating on him. But I felt like he's cheating on me because he got himself a boyfriend. I'm supposed to be your girlfriend. <laughs> you know? You're my gay boyfriend. I'm your gay girlfriend. Yeah. But I'm not gay. You. That's yeah. the well, when I'm problems right there. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it's just like, it's just so hard because, I mean, we can never break up. Yeah, I'm, I'm no. loyal like that too. But I have two sets. I have an East Coast hair and makeup and a West Coast hair really? and makeup. Yes, and I've been with them for years. I got a Compton's uh, set of people and I got a Hollywood set of people. Hey, I ain't mad at that. I want the prices of your Compton person. <laughs> All right, you guys, coming up next, we're going to throw down with some old school childhood snacks that still make us grown women swoon. We'll be right back. <laughs> Yeah.
today we want to let you in on a little secret. We are five grown women who are still obsessed with our childhood snacks. Now, these are not the kind of snacks you'll find at the local grocery. Oh, no, they're special. Mm -hmm. So special, we had to go back to the hood to bring you our childhood <laughs> snacks. <laughs> She grew up with it. My childhood snack may seem a little freaky, y'all. The pickle and the peppermint is real easy. No. Back in Detroit, we used to do this every summer. You bite off the top so that you got the opening. Okay. You take the peppermint and stick that peppermint in. And really, you get a real big pickle. And see, what happens is <laughs> you got the pickle juice and the peppermint just... Won't he do oh, it? Oh, it's you got really it off. And then... Oh. Oh, mm. my... Oh, Lonnie. Oh, God. Lonnie. Oh, Lord. Oh, no. So you get a mixture of the peppermint and the That's pickle, good. and as it starts, thank you, as you as it starts to like marinate in there, the peppermint. <laughs> Tell you, mm, I don't stop this fighting for this. Let's see wait. how you do this, Lonnie. Go ahead, oh, Tara. God. Tell me what you got. This one was a sleepover favorite for me. You can have it, Lonnie. Okay, thank you. Just take some Nilla wafers and dunk them in your favorite. Frosting. I make wafer. mine out of a little cookie sandwich, oh, right? I, I some, I you go like this. Here, here, here. here and it's so much better than cookies from a pack. Just make sure you don't down the whole box. Okay. I love that squishing together, Tamara. See, that is so good. Okay, Jeannie, what you mm -hmm. have? So growing up in San Jose, at the Ice Cream Man, I would get this mango lollipop. You know it! Oh. Oh. Mango, chile, limon. Lollipops, and I love getting these because, like, you have this little, like, salty and spicy on the outside, but nope. wait till you get to the center of the mango, and then you get that blend of sweet and spicy. Oh, it's hard. What gourmet ice cream truck what? did you have? We nope. didn't have limon where I come from, honey. Limon. Limon. Yeah, limon. 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 I had it. You have to be careful, though, because if you scrape too much, your tongue gets rubbed Yeah, raw. I think that's oh. why I did. Oh, it's so like good. hot. It's like a little spicy. Mm. I love this. <laughs> Where is your hair? This is candy? Love this. Candy inside. Isn't that great? Oh. You no, bit that long? It's not great. I love this. I it's love it. I'm sorry. I, love it. I, I have to put y'all on because what y'all showing me is not the business, okay? My favorite hood snack is Western fries, baby, okay? Now, what's if, that? Girl, yeah, what's you are not fries? from the Baltimore area. You do not know what this is. It's like a potato that's kind of like deep fried, and it got like a little fried chicken flavor to it. And what you do, put a little salt and pepper on her, dip her in a little ketchup. Yes, God. Yeah. Well, I'm not from there, but I know a good fried food when I see it. Let me check. Oh, so what are you like doing? Big, this is divine. It's oh. like you cut a potato in four and just dipped it and fried it. Who thought of this? this yes. This is so good. Wait, this you guys, listen really to this good. crunch. Life. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That is amazing. Mm -hmm. But we saved the best for last, uh -oh. in my opinion. Mm -hmm. All right, now I grew up, you know, on my Ecuadorian side, we love us some corn. And I grew up loving, loving, loving what we call elote. Yeah! Oh. You kids are so lucky here in L.A. because here, it's like the street cart corn. Yeah, yes. it's a bomb combo of mayo, cheese, and chili powder smothered onto corn on the cob. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Oh, love it. Yes. This is, this is Adam's favorite. My, yeah. husband, my husband loves this stuff. Love this. Forget the cord. I want the man. That's not uh, hello. Don't y'all want the man? I don't know. You guys, it's so good. Come on, Esther. It's good as I love it on the corn. See, Ecuadorian? Who is he? I don't, I don't know. want no corn. Give me him. All right, you guys. That was good. so much fun. Don't go anywhere. You won't want to miss what's up next. The hilarious Orlando Jones is going to join us when we return. So keep it right here on The Real. Entertaining and unpredictably funny guest from his early years on Mad TV, as well as his role on the hit drama Sleepy Hollow. Get on your feet, everybody, and please welcome the hilarious Orlando Jones. Because okay. before you can join us, yes. you gotta go right over here and I gotta spin go here. the heel. Let's do this. Come on! Oh, 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 oh come on! Oh, I need a massage. All right. Right here. I'll be 
and show and that. Wait, the Savannah crack. has back problems. Hey. Wait. <laughs> Wait. She can't right even. She can't even. Right here. 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 Like, that, that was a natural man thing. I was like, I'm sorry, I cannot resist. So people know you from touring mm -hmm. and doing Mad TV. I remember that. Sure. What people didn't know is that you had a talk show for a minute. I did. You I did. did. Do you have any advice for us? Tell the network. Yes. Do this immediately. Okay. 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 That your friends can't come on the show. Oh. Otherwise, all your friends gonna be mad at you because you didn't put them on the show. They're like, you know, girl, I was trying to do something. It was an important disease. Got it. You know, I'm oh. gonna get the show. You think you're talking about a shit? No, but I ain't never like that. Anyway, that's what you're gonna be okay. dealing with. I'm telling you. Well, that's bro. contradictory wow. because aren't you and Lonnie really good friends? First of all, <laughs> that's the second thing I need to tell you. Don't listen to me. Now, this okay. is very important. Okay. okay? My show is not still on. Don't okay. listen to me. Okay, got it. All right. Okay, you have tons of characters that we love to watch over the years. So what character was your personal favorite? One of my favorites is um, Office Space. I did this dude named Steve. Yeah. He talks like, yeah, my name is Steve. I'll come from my rough <laughs> area. I used to be yeah. yeah. right. trying to stay clean. I'll yeah. be a hard work with him to stay clean and make a better life for myself. And that's why I'm selling magazine su su subscriptions. <laughs> Where are you from? I'm from uh, down south, born in Alabama, grew okay. up in Georgia, okay. Florida. Yeah, baby. I'm, I'm a southern woman, yeah. too. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Like, we're a different breed. You know what I mean? Meow, 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 meow. Did you just say meow, 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 meow? Is that a thing now? Meow, 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 meow. No, that's a trademark thing. That's a trademark thing. got a lot of those. OK, I like that. Meow, meow. By the way, what is it with boom, pow, pow? That I don't say that. You've never heard a girl say boom, pow, pow? Is it in context of a sentence? Yeah. OK, ask me how I look. How you look? Boom, pow, pow. Oh, that's new. Oh, that's new. I'll take that. I'll take that. You know what? Everybody always mistakes you for people. Oh, yeah, all the time. Like who? OK, here's the story. So okay. a couple of weeks ago, uh, Jay and, uh, you know, was in the elevator, and Bay was in the elevator, yes. and there was a fight going on okay. in the elevator. Uh -huh. So I just tweeted out what happened. Apparently, Salon stepped on the elevator, and Jay said, dang, you look like Orlando Jones. And she just started kicking him. <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> so I just tweeted out, y'all need to stop playing. I was not in an elevator fighting with Bay and Hova, and the Twitter thing went crazy, and I was trending on Twitter because apparently people think I look like Solange Knowles. Tamar okay. said, nah. That's so weird. I don't think so. Yeah, Orlando, that is weird. Now with your new role on Sleepy Hollow, we see a serious side of you. So tell us about it. For me, it's fun to play a character that uh, takes everything so seriously, because he's not funny. Like he has. That's fun to you. Th it's fun to me to, yeah, because you ever dealt with somebody and you're having a good time and they're just not having it? All the time. You know, like, how you doing? And they're like, mm, 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 mm. <laughs> All you know, the time. you're like, uh, having a good day? <laughs> like, they're all at the DMV. Like you, it, oh, the DMV is the spot. I call yeah. it PGS. That's my favorite thing. What's you, that? you have it, by the way. What's PGS? All y'all got pretty girl syndrome. Really? Yes, you do, because people respond to y'all differently, like you get in the bar all the time. The club ain't never closed for you. Right. Drinks magically appear that you don't have to pay for. It's Stuff correct. is automatically on sale until you go in the DMV and one that of them ladies true. remind you what time it is. <laughs> <laughs> no, boo -boo. That's not it. Uh-uh. That's the line right over okay? there. Boom, pow, pow. That's line. the wrong form. <laughs> characters unlike anything in the past. Which was your favorite thing about this character? I think that he's humorless. Um, I think that he takes very seriously that he has a gun in his hand. And that at any point, you can take someone's life. And that's a lot of responsibility to carry yeah. right. in this world. And yes. I, I think he takes that very seriously at a time when there are a lot of anti-heroes. I like the fact that he's sort of a classic family man willing to give it up for everything, mm -hmm. just guy, that he's just a straight up man that's about his principles. Sleepy Hollow's a lot of fun because it's like it's historical and biblical and sort of action. Yeah. All right, spoiler alert. You have to tell us at least one thing that's gonna happen this one. season. Yep. Just one Two. thing, please. This is the real, give us the real. There's a new bounty hunter that you haven't met yet. Mm. Oh. And that's all I can tell you without okay. getting in all a lot right. of trouble. But <laughs> okay. 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 okay, thank you. Okay. I can't wait to watch. When we come back, we're gonna put Orlando's character skills to the test, so don't go anywhere. We'll be right back with more of the real. <laughs> Orlando, we know you're 
acting credits are endless. So we have titles to your best shows and films in this bowl. And you're going to pick a card, use these props to act it out while we guess. And this is a game we want to call She Raids. Okay, yeah. here we go. Yay! I got, I got. Don't I show it to me. I'm not showing it, yes. just back it up. OK, all right, all right Daddy. Daddy. I'm, do. I'm in it. <clears throat> I'm trying right. to win. Let's see here. Just immediately. Uh, um. <laughs> I know that. I know that. What is it? That's Drumline. Everybody know that. Oh, Drumline. Everybody know that. I should have got that. That was smart. I was really, 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 I didn't know that and okay. that king of queen. We want you to get up and act this one out, okay? You an actor, act it. So much better at taboo. Uh, me too. And, uh, okay. Uh, wait a minute. Uh, okay. Bike uh, ride. It's a uh, helmet, so. Oh, you're on a motorcycle. Your head. Mm -hmm. you're, you're, you're on a motorcycle. No I'm right. Idea. I'm right. Okay. Something about a motorcycle. Sunglasses. Oh, Tom Cruise. And glasses. And you're Biker. like, bike, 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 It's really you hard to guess your you own movies. Tired. Like, they're gonna be all your movies, and you, if you don't get one, you're so stupid, you don't even know yourself. <laughs> 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 all right, all right, hold on, all right. Um, Good, um, what is this? Yo, I have no idea. You're, you're angry. You're angry. angry. You're upset. <laughs> you're uh, you're uh, upset. upset. You're upset. You're mad. 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 Frustrated. Mad. 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 or we run into people, and you are an amazing actor. You really are. But you don't take yourself so seriously. That's yeah. right. is so great. You're such a so great much. guy. Oh, I told you, you so much. Oh, God. Jeez. So much fun. Told you so And he got He's the proud. cutest little daughter, too. His daughter really? is so cute. We was over in South Africa. What are you doing so now? Fun. It's my baby. I miss oh. my baby. And his wife was so nice She's because I would be in his hotel room sometimes. What? Because we were at <laughs> night. You know, after, no, after, I after don't. an event at yeah. night, we would be together sometimes, just <laughs> spending our quality time together. <laughs> what? <laughs> it wasn't like that, OK? It was like, you know, after you perform, <laughs> and you know you turned up. You're a performer, so you know. Mm -mm. And you don't, you know, you, you're on the road by yourself. <laughs> and we would talk to her. We would. We would yeah, be we on FaceTime. Money, what do you mean? Oh, oh, OK, that's yeah. different. Oh, that's we're so dope. Having a good time. That's all we yeah. would be Look doing. And a lot of praying. We would pray a lot. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, we hold hands and pray. Really? Because you, know, you have to keep okay. Jesus in your life. That's important. <laughs> that's important. That's not a joke. I'm for real. Thank you so much, Orlando, for stopping by. You're so amazing. So amazing. And remember to check out Orlando Jones on September 22nd for the premiere of Sleepy Hollow on Fox. Stay tuned for more of The Real. <laughs>white after Labor Day, blah. Well, some rules are meant to be broken. Times have changed, so before you pack your whites away for the winter, we're going to show you how to rock white long after the pool has closed. Because you actually can wear white after Labor Day. White can be worn, like Adrian said, all year round. Mm -hmm. You just have to use bits and pieces and know how to rock them. So I got you guys, we're here for you. I brought you four pieces to show you how. For first off, let's start with the blazer. Yes. These are staple pieces. Everybody has them in their wardrobe. Absolutely. But why not get one in white? So we went with a jacket that has exaggerated lapels, and we paired it with a dark jean and a leopard top. It immediately classes up the I look, love right? It. Absolutely. I'd avoid pairing it with navy because you don't want to look too nautical. This looks amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right. Our next look is white jeans. Notice that she's not wearing linen. Definitely save the linen for summer. White jeans are the best way to flaunt your shape. And white goes with everything, even a sweater. Thank you. Okay, ladies, the best way to put your foot forward is with a white shoe. Yes! I know a lot of women are scared to purchase a shoe in white if it's not a high top sneaker, but they shouldn't be. You own several I own pairs. I a lot of white pumps. And as we know, a good shoe can make or break the outfit. I this love is really that. Cute on you. This is like winter white. I would totally wear those shoes for New Year's. Thank you so much. All right, these clothes look great, but we can't forget accessories. 
Now, a white purse makes a strong statement piece. <laughs> Try using a white purse as your pop of color. The key is to carry it with confidence and not look like, oh my God, I'm so embarrassed. I didn't get a new purse for the new season. And if you ever feel like you get the handles dirty, just get it conditioned with a shoe cleaner and really? it'll actually protect it from like tans and lotions. Don't worry about it. The white bag is your friend all season long. I love it. Looks yeah. amazing. Thank you. All right, now let's put it all together and see how to wear white from head to toe. Here we go, bam! I am obsessed with For the final this look, look, this trick is to not go matchy-matchy. Mm -hmm. Mix your shades of white. You can mix them all up. Yeah. This is what we did here with a moto jacket, a pencil skirt, chiffon blouse, pop your collar, girl, and textured <laughs> pumps. This is white hot, baby. I love it. It's tough, yet sexy, and wearing it all together makes it classy and high fashion. All Absolutely. over the runways right now. This is so hot. It's very Versace. And oh, that's how you wear white all year round. <laughs> now we want to see how you do it. So tweet your photos to us at The Real Daytime with the hashtag Labor Day White. Don't move. The tough talking star of Dance Moms, Abby Lee Miller, comes to our studio when we return. You're watching The Real. <laughs> for a dose of her no-nonsense attitude and controversial dance teaching style. You can currently see this chick every week on her hit series, Dance Mom, and on her newest spinoff, Abby Studio Rescue. Here today to keep us all in check, please welcome Miss Abby Lee Miller. <laughs> to have you with us today. Well, I, for one, watch uh, your show. Thank you. What do you think makes <laughs> Dance Mom such a huge success? It's real. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's all real. Yeah. Well, I, I watch the show all the time, and I notice that you always saw the stardom in that one little girl that we're <laughs> speaking about. What, 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 well, what I did. It? And every so many years, a kid walks into your studio with mm -hmm. that natural, God-given mm -hmm. talent, and they have it now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hers is right now. She's smart. Why is it that the, the children seem straight, the girls, but then it's the moms? What is it? What is yeah. it? <laughs> Are they living through, they're trying to live through their daughters? Well, dance moms it? live among us. Let's face okay. it. They're okay. out there. They're everywhere. I think the kids just get it. Yeah. The moms, maybe they failed at what mm. they yeah, wanted yeah. to do. Yeah. Yeah. They didn't have the parental support, and they're going to make sure that they're there for that kid. But you need to know when enough is enough. And you need to look but down at- But you be going off on people, though, Abby. Come on, I, let's get I, real. This is real, let's get real, okay? I was like, yeah, you be going that? in. I get what it. What people don't realize is I have a lot of other students besides the children that got on lucky okay. to okay. be okay. on the show got because it. their mothers didn't follow the rules or pay their bill on time. Okay. So, <laughs> you know, they make good TV. Oh. The sweet, nice people that I have in my studio, they don't make good TV, okay. so okay. that's the problem. But I have students that have worked with your sister. Really? Attorney, yes. Wow. I have wow. students, I had, uh, we were at the VMAs. Uh -huh. I had girls dancing in Beyonce's number. Oh, yeah. wow. People don't realize that I have kids performing all over the world. Uh -huh. yeah. You better like read her work feel, honey. Yes. yes, okay? Well, like, let me tell you what I have going on. Yes. She got it. What makes your teaching style different? I started my dance company at the age of 14, and my goal was wow. to get kids out of Pittsburgh. And I did that and these kids are everywhere. But my teaching style was to set those kids up so that when they get to New York, when they get to LA, they don't get eaten alive. Yeah. They, are, they can I'm handle anything. Them. Yeah. Yes. That's amazing. Tell us about your new Lifetime show, which is called Abby Studio Rescue. It's my way of kind of paying it back to my industry. I look at the kids, I look at the dancing, I look at the training, and I kind of set the record straight there. I like That's it. That's the real right, right there. Top. You do not play. <laughs> do you have any other projects you're working on? Well, I have lots of projects. Okay. We just came back from Please. Australia. Okay. Nice. And I flew in from London yesterday. Nice. I was wow. teaching master classes. Okay. Uh, nice. And that's the thing. No matter you how many. You wrote a book about all of this. I did. Oh, there you go. Well, good. Okay. Yes. Talk about it. Everything I learned about life, I learned in dance class. And it's true. But that I want to say one thing. What? Dance teachers in the United States do not need a license. Anyone can open a dance oh, studio. I love that. I can open a okay. dance studio? Yes, she can. Okay. Oh, yes. I would sign up, She's going to open up a twerk studio. I don't know. I don't know if I would.
would go to your dance <laughs> Well, uh, that's why you need to investigate your dance teacher and this studio like you're looking for a pediatrician. Got it. Thank you so much for stopping by The Real. We really appreciate it. Please come back and visit us. Don't forget to check Abby out on Lifetime on Tuesdays at 8 p.m. on Abby's Studio Rescue and on Dance Moms Tuesdays at 9 p.m. What a show. Thanks again to my man, Orlando Jones, and Abby Lee Miller for hanging out with us. And thanks to all of you for watching. Thank you so much. Yes. Wait, wait, wait.